What is up guys, this is Olympio, coming up to you with a general discussion today about Yu-Gi-Oh! and people's love and emphasis and passion for the game and what happens when that is lost. So everyone will go through a format probably in the fact that they get a bit bored of it. They lose their interest in Yu-Gi-Oh! in the game every so often and honestly, if I'm completely honest, I've had that in this format. After Nationals, when I topped with Counter Fairies, which was a lot of fun, I just kind of lost a little bit of motivation for the game and finding out about cards and making videos. And it's really impacted on me. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have figured out that some of my videos have just been a little bit eh. They've not been as fun. They've just been kind of different discussions. And I completely understand why people might say, well, why, why are you even making them? Part of me feels like I need to make them, but at the same time, I shouldn't be putting out content that I'm not entirely happy with. Don't worry, I've got it back now already. I'm really hyped for stuff that's coming up, especially the Brotherhood Open plug. With the movie pack, the new set, all these different things that are coming out has got me really riled up again and I'm really looking forward to it. But I want to talk about how people will deal with it and some of the best ways to deal with that little bit of dip that always happens. So first off, one of the things and the biggest culprits that really will happen for people falling out with the game is how the format is going. If the format isn't enjoyable for you, then you probably won't want to play the actual game. One of the best ways that I deal with this is just putting any meta decks aside, not that I have that many, and just thinking, hey, you know what? I am just going to think of something crazy. I'm going to pursue something that I haven't done in a while or an old deck that I've not really played with. I'm going to try and build that up. I'm going to have some fun with my friends. I'm going to play non-meta. And I think that in lies the most fun. When you have non-meta decks and you get to play with a lot of your friends, the problem with that is if you don't have many friends around your area that don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! And also if your locals is very competitive like the Brotherhood in London, sometimes it can be difficult to find those people to play against. Now, one thing that we addressed in the Brotherhood, just as a very quick note, is that we like to have a lot of fun. So we have high rank and low rank tournaments where low rank you can't have any really powerful decks. It's just a lot of fun and it's normally players who haven't topped events and such like that. So it makes it a lot of fun for both sets. On the one hand, the higher players get to play against competitive people and play out and test their favorite decks and meta decks. Lower rank gets to play anything that they want. That's a really good way for people to actually invoke different types of duelists that come to people's locals. So that's one of the main things that a lot of people do, and I myself do. We all know how many decks I have. It's absolutely ridiculous, and I like to play different things. And I like to test them, even if I spend, say, for example, a day, the majority of a day testing a deck, and it doesn't work out, because A, I don't like it, B, it's not powerful enough, and C, it's gimmicky or whatever, or I get bored of it, much like how I did with Satellanite, then it's completely fine, but it's entertaining and it's enjoyable. Researching about new cards as well and new archetypes is very fun. On, simply because it means that you can get your creative flair going if you do want to. If you do enjoy building decks, then this is one of the best things to do. Another one of the main things that a lot of people fall out of fun with the game is the Forbidden Unlimited list. If one of your favorite decks gets hit by Konami, then obviously you're going to lose a bit of enthusiasm for the game. We all have been there. We've all been there when one deck will get hit that we really wanted to play. Or maybe you've been a bit lucky and been able to play it for a little bit, but then it will get wrecked. I'm still a little bit salty the fact that I didn't get to play Dark Matter and Heretics. Especially after put out two videos, one deck profile and one combo video. Oh. I certainly became the laughing stock of the community for a few days just because of that. But that is one thing that really does impact and it hurts me as well. Obviously when a deck or a card that you really want to use gets hurt and gets hit by the ban list. It's just one of those things that we have to just suck up because it's going to happen. Nothing's going to be the same forever and we're never going to have the same favorite decks forever. So it's just something that we have to move on with. And that's where also point one comes in. If your deck does get hit, it's not that much of a big problem because you can be testing other decks and you can be having more fun with different archetypes and researching into other things. Overall, you just need to be a little bit adventurous at times. If you only play one deck and you only focused on one deck and don't care about anything else, 
then you are more than likely going to fall out of favour with the game. You're going to lose interest if that deck does get hit or if you get bored of that deck but you don't understand any others or you don't want to because you don't have time, money, so on and so forth, then you're probably going to see a dip in your enthusiasm with the game. It's honestly very normal. A lot of people say, I'm going to quit this game and then come back. I get that. Like A lot of people will quit the game and then come back and some will quit and some won't come back. But more often than not, I'd say the higher majority is people do come back into this game. Whether or not you feel that Konami are horrible lords and don't give a crap about any of us or you just feel that it's a bit of a dip. Honestly, Konami, I think, are trying to keep their best interest for the players out in this game. Sometimes their decisions are questionable, like any card company or any game company that are trying to keep something afloat. But at the end of the day, I think they are trying to keep us happy. Even just small little gestures that you might miss they are there, just look for them. So that's basically it. I just wanted to give a bit of a talk because it was something that personally I was experiencing and I think some people were seeing it. I did post on my Facebook saying that I was in a bit of a dip and a lot of people were agreeing with the format because the Monarchs, the PK Fire, Burning Abyss, Cosmo is all getting a little bit boring. And I do agree, I just don't want Monarchs to be a thing anymore because it just bores me so much. That sounded a little bit like Pegasus. So I wanna know what you guys think. Are you in a bit of a dip with your enthusiasm recently or are you completely happy with how everything's going? Or when, if you did have a dip in your enthusiasm for the game, what did you do to get over it? Because if you're watching this video, you're probably more than likely still playing the game. So I wanna know what you guys think. Please comment down in the comment section below because I really would like to see what people's other opinions and uh, experiences are. Make sure to leave me a like, comment, subscribe and I should catch you guys later.